Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus9 from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be looking at a new drive and that drive is manufactured by Invertec and it's their OptiDrive drive and I've never personally really ever worked that drive before but I had a, be a brief look into it and the drive is very simple really sort of down to uh, what exactly what for more most most common application most common parameters and events have been narrowed down to very very basic the manual is really tiny it's only about I think about 50 pages in it which is which is by far the smallest i ever worked with so i'm definitely keen to find out that it's a, it's operation how it works how good it is and uh yeah pretty much check it out well what is all about the price range is quite that one thing is quite uh, interesting is quite high compared to other manufacturers which have quite a bit more functionality into it so definitely keen to figure out uh, can figure out just check it out what is this drive is all about and again as usual we're going to be the first first video we're going to be doing a drive setup with the the all the uh, motor parameters and see if there's auto tune we do the auto tune and run the drive local mode and second video we're going to be doing a two three wire control with bad tech geometer and um, which is remotely and the third video we're going to be, be, be a look a bit more advanced into it where we're going to be able to use the set uh, uh run the control that drives frequency with two buttons up and down button and uh also perform a uh, setup the motor frequency setup and things like that so before we get started as usual if you guys haven't checked out our ebay page or our uh, website for all, all types of different industrial automations definitely check that out that link is going to be in uh, description below and if you guys are looking to buy uh, to sell any parts in it which is related to industrial electronics definitely get in touch as well so uh, with anything you got and i'm pretty sure i'll be able to come back with you with some form of within 24 hours other than that let's get started <laughs> Alrighty, now the drive is all set up and let's have a look at the older terminals that we have and uh, all on up here we got earth line and a neutral this is a single phase drive so obviously the whole setup it can work uh, it will be working exactly the same on the three phase drive here in the bottom you have all the motors coming out and that's about it from the main uh, power points and then in here is all in, these are uh, terminal uh, terminals for controls and the number one is are these 24 volt dc output source and the two three and the four are digital inputs uh, digital inputs where four can uh, uh, can well later on we're going to look at things called macro that is in this drive uh, will be changing in between analog it can be changed between analog input or analog input two and digital input three and a five a six and seven these go five six and seven they are uh, designated for analog or con input controls it also can be changed to under uh, digital input of five can be changed to di di digital input uh, three and six can be changed to digital input four and seven and eight are analog outputs and uh, digital outputs again can be configured and uh, 10 and 11 it is a relay uh, relays pretty much digital relays so which are can be used for external uh, uh, contacts or, or external information Wh whatever you want to do with externally that you can use as a normally open uh, thing, or normally open or normally closed contact so that is the all the terminals let's have a look at the, how the menu works and for the menu i readjust a little bit my lighting because it was just like distorting my numbers there and for the menu uh you got the start stop button in here you got the i call it the enter button but they call it navigate button so here we go that would be the navigate button and then obviously your cursors up and down so to pretty much go in between to enter the menu just hold that for one second then you go into the parameters there's only 47 parameters and uh, on the uh, absolute startup uh, you will uh, you, it will only let you go to about parameter 14 and then after that you is going to ask you to enter some form of password which is uh, 101 so hold that and you enter well, there we go we enter the parameter and then if you I already entered the password so on the 14 in here just uh when, if you want to change parameters just click on that one then then you get to, uh, to change them 
I'll show you how, what, what, what you usually, let's say I put that under the one, and as you can see, I'm no longer able to go above uh, 114. So pretty much that's what's happening when you uh, are unable to go past 14. So for whatever reason, they have put a password on it. So uh, that's exactly what we can do back in the internet. And pretty much that's how uh, how you navigate uh, in between the uh, menu. So uh, pretty much every time you change the parameter, just uh, press enter or navigate, what they call it. And that's about it. And that's how all the menu works. Uh, let's start edit all the motor data. And But before we can do that, we are going to reset the drive to default. And to do that, you have to hold the up and down and stop button together for two seconds. There we go. So now the drive is being reset. And you click the red button, so make sure it resets back to it. And now all settings have been reset to factory default. Alrighty, now that we have done that, so uh, it's time to set up all the motor parameters. So uh, as we have done that, we need to again uh, enter that uh, parameter 14. Oop, oh shut. Oh. Um, Need to put that 101 in there, so we can go past it. Oh, and uh, and that's done. So now we've then done that. Let's start with the parameter number one. And pra oh, uh, parameter number one will be a uh, maximum frequency or speed limit. And obviously this needs to be as uh, what the motor play says. In our case here in UK, we are driving at 50 hertz, so that will stay at 50 hertz. And uh, the next one will be the minimum frequency. This is where you can set up your frequency if you want the drive not to go up, not to grow anything below a certain amount, like 20, 30, whatever. So I will leave it at zero because that'll do me for now. Uh, parameter three and four is more or less for acceleration uh, mode. For us, we are going to change that down to one. Just uh, uh, each application is different, so for me it will work like that. For you, probably because uh, that acceleration, the acceleration time is more or less it will correlates to your to your uh, soft starts so or whatever. Depending on the, on the system you're using, you select your acceleration, the acceleration time, whatever works for you. The parameter five is where you can uh, select what sort of stoppage mode do you want. Is ramp to stop, coast to stop, or ramp to uh, Ramp to stop or again, whatever that means. Ramp to stop is pretty much is it's uh, the drive will control the 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 acceleration time will control the how fast the motor stops and uh, coast to stop will just let the let the drive uh, as you as you uh, click the stop mode uh, it will uh, click the stop it will let the drive let the motor to uh, free fall basically on the free fall to stop. So uh, that's the difference between them two. Uh, then is the P6 we're not going to touch, and then is the P7 is a motor rated voltage is 230. Yep, correct. That's the one we are using uh, for a single phase. The next one is a P8, which is a motor rated current. Is, uh, check your data plate. Make oop. Uh, your data plate. Uh, my my drive is actually quite big. I'm ho I'm hoping I'll be able to do it because my one is only 0.37 kilowatt drive motor and is 1.8 amps. So. Let's see how long it is. Sometimes that's a bigger drive won't allow it to go below. Looks like this one it goes allows us to go to 2.6 amp only. So bear in mind, because this is the 2.2 kilowatt drive, and my motor is only 0.37 kilowatts, so uh, it will not uh, let me go below that. So uh, obviously my motor is quite small, so I will leave it at that. But for you, in your case, you'll be you'll be able to change that to whatever you need to do. Uh, then is a motor rated uh, frequency, which is definitely should be 50 hertz. Yep, thank you. That's again what your motor says. And the next one is a uh, motor rated uh, speed, which you can select so the motor, so the sort of so the drive and the motor sort of correlate to each other. What is going on regarding when it comes down to RPM? So uh, we will change that to uh, what's the minimum is 300. Yeah, my one is one, uh, 1380. 1380. And let's get to the 380. There we go. That will be that. And 
after that so we're, the next one we're going to be using as well which is again for motor setup that's pretty much all you will need to do yeah, but uh, because today we are going to be doing uh, a front keypad control so we're going to be selecting uh, in a p12 which is where you pretty much oh, in p12 uh, pretty much this is where you uh, select what sort of uh, control mode you're going to be using and the one we're going to be using is going to be a uh, unidirectional which is a keypad control which you can select that to one so uh, let's save that and that will be it to get out of the menu quickly just click and hold again the whatever the navigation button things like that and all things left now is pretty much to test the drive and before we can actually get started and start the driving definitely one thing we have to do is look at the safety aspect of it we've got to have some ways of uh, some means of ways of whatever you some way, way you say it to stop the drive and uh, the best obviously the most efficient way is to follow uh, this type of control where the drive is fully uh, isolated away from it so let me just get some you go uh, when it oh that's gonna be uh, when the drive is being you you are by i have external e-stop well the drive uh, it goes through the contact and contact uh, uh, will disconnect power to the melter that would be the best way to do it but if you're not doing it doing that then most of you guys are not going to be doing that so at least use some form of e-stop which i have in here the so one thing we need to do is you do need to enable the drive and to enable the drive is you need to put the put the link between switch or whatever uh, between one and a two and I also went another another step and which what I did in here if you uh, which are going to be we're going to be playing a bit more about with the, the these macros uh, in the next video but uh, if you go to terminal uh, uh, parameter 15 and in here you sort of can choose between between macros and sort of a digital input digital output setups what each uh, what each thing does and what I did I changed that to three uh, macro three which gives you which which the rearranged a little bit some of the digital inputs so basically the digital input four or are uh, being changed from analog to digital i can't remember which, which one it was basically changed that one to trip so every time i will click the e-stop he will uh, trip out the drive so into to, to so, sort of really see if if the e-stop is in it so let's say the alarm is in it you every time you're going to try to start the drive it will be in the error mode so it will ask you to release the e-stop and then you just uh, click the uh, red button to reset it and then only then you should be able to go but one thing is if you i would suggest you to go the minimum of this kind of safety with uh, this kind of setup for for, for the local run if you uh, want to pretty much stay in the safe side so to run it it's press the start and you uh, change your frequency by up and down button so what I did is I changed the 15 to 3 which will give me that trip point and we will look at those diagrams in the next video uh, how they work and how to look into them so pretty much that is uh, it runs drive runs very smooth I gotta admit that the motor is in absolute good condition because he's got the EMC filter inside so uh, it does uh, do a very nice a smooth run on the on the motor so uh and if as i said here we go demonstrate if by any chance you have emergency stop bang the motor goes to the stop resets it and uh, uh it'll uh, uh, obviously you will have to do the reset on the drive when you do that and uh, the drive will go in a full stop so uh, that will be it ladies and gentlemen now hopefully that is helping you out that i know helping you to get where you want to get and give you some good ideas how to set the drive up and get you going so other than that ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching if you liked the video please smash that like if you didn't smash the dislike uh, any constructive criticism in the comments and anything else you would like to put in the comments or ask any questions do please do so all the manuals related videos and everything else that uh, I feel that will uh, benefit you in any possible way. I will leave all that in the description below. And thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.